everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Yes She Can Project. I am so happy to be joined by the gorgeous Cecilia. Hello Cecilia. Hey, hello, nice to be on this show with you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Oh, thank you for saying yes, I really appreciate it. And joining me from such such a beautiful background and sunniness when it's not quite like that here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll bring the sunshine. Apparently, I, I bring the sunshine. I was in the UK last week and uh, yeah, I brought the sunshine. So it was, Yeah, it was nice last week, actually. Yeah, that, that's down to you. Exactly. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> so if uh, for anybody who doesn't know you, please may you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do. Right. Uh, well, I'm a personal trainer and I have been for the past 15 years. Um, I came uh, onto the social media world about eight years ago uh, when I partnered up with my beautiful partner, Lucy Mecklenburg, who you might know from the show, um, The Only Way is Essex. So Lucy became one of my clients um, in the, my personal training studio in Essex. And together we formed a really lovely relationship. Um, and we felt at the time that it was a need to um, help women in general fall in love with exercise again. And we also wanted to show that it didn't need to be in the gym. We, you know, we understood, especially from Lucy's point of view, how overwhelming it was for her to go to a gym. Um, and petrified in fact so much so that she would never step foot in it so understanding this we we saw that actually why don't we do this online as a as a website as a platform it wasn't done back then eight years ago fitness online was not a thing nowadays it's it's everywhere but <laughs> eight years ago it, it it was it was not a thing so you, you know we we just teased um, some of her followers. And at the time it was only Twitter. Instagram was not even really popular. It was popular, I think, in America, but not in the UK. It was very much Twitter, YouTube and Facebook. So she was teasing a little bit her followers with, you know, the kind of workouts she was doing. And she was getting an amazing response from it. Um, so we saw a niche and we took advantage of it. And... Um, created a platform called results with lucy at the time because my business was called results she's lucy she was the celebrity i was the personal trainer so we put those two together and it works super super well um but we had no idea how to do and so we just sessions every every single session that we had together we put it on the platform um, and so, yeah, I, I became an influencer. That's what we call it, call, call us now. Um, overnight, really, overnight. Um, and uh, started on Twitter and then went on Instagram and then the uh, wellness platform. That's what I like to call it. So Results with Lucy at the time just grew and grew and grew. And we've been going on now for eight years. Uh, we organically felt that our, our customers, our members called us RWL. And we kind of thought, you know what? It's no longer about results, i.e. my business or Lucy. It's about wellness in general. So because people were calling us RWL organically to, to short it out, to short it, uh, we changed the name to results, wellness and lifestyle because that is exactly what we are. Uh, our wellness platform, which is now an app as well, is reflecting how you can change your lifestyle and giving you all the tools, the necess necessary tools to do so with fitness, with nutrition, and now massively with mindset. So the live coaching side of it is part of the app, which has become huge and actually the most important part of our platform. Um, we've got amazing team of experts, life coaches, dietitians, doctors, chiropractors, all working with us and all giving their you know expertise to our members so yes i am extremely proud of what we have created and from where we started eight years ago to where we are now uh, but yeah this is basically what i do 
Um, I'm myself a bit of a mixture nationality. I was born in France, raised in North Africa, went to the States. So oh, wow. if you, if, You're if a you hear the I am a little bit. Uh, if you hear my accent, a lot of people can't really tell where I'm from. And that is why. Uh, it's because I've, 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 I have traveled a lot with my fam, my parents first and then later on in life myself. Hence, I ended up in the UK. Don't ask me how. And I ended up and I ended up marrying an Essex boy. <laughs> Don't ask me why neither. Uh, life just took me here, um, which is extraordinary when you think about it, because, you know, I, as you say, I trot to the globe, the globe to end up in Essex. <laughs> um, which, which is, if you start thinking about it in, in hindsight, you know, it was meant to be because if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have had met Lucy. And if I hadn't met Lucy, I wouldn't probably created an online platform and I wouldn't have fulfilled my passion, my dreams, which was to help women in general with their fitness and their, men, you know, physical health and mental health. So, yeah life has got a funny way of of showing you sometimes it, it, it'll always you know, take you in the right direction it does. Absolutely. I feel that way yeah I feel that way a lot um but this whole passion started um should I continue or would you like to get uh, abs absolutely that, that that was my next question um because as you just touched on there your whole passion um for yeah. Um, other women helping them feel better about themselves and also with their mental health you you do have an inspirational story behind where that started from don't you absolutely yes I do I do um it all started um you know with the most beautiful day of our lives as mums giving birth to our child first child for me um and unfortunately I was hit and I, I always say the same sentence I was hit by postnatal depression because you can't explain it better than that one day you're like this the next day you're like that it literally is that flip it doesn't kind of come gradually it just hits you <laughs> um and yeah it, it it took me by surprise because I was always a quite a beat person and you know loving to dance loving to have fun and um and then all of a sudden, everything just felt bad. There was no joy in anything. There was just a lot of ache, a lot of suffering, a lot of anxiety, a lot of mainly guilt because I felt that I wasn't having that natural connection that most mums would talk about, um, that instinctive loving that child with everything that you have I didn't have that and I think it, it, it was such a hard uh, feeling to accept and, and the guilt at the same time it was just eating me up eating me up eating me up but what I didn't know at the time is that I was going through postnatal depression which is something that happens to so many women so many women but we are so scared of speaking up because we are ashamed yes. you know we, we we feel we feel like we are bad mothers and you know how how is that even possible how can you say you didn't love your child um you know how can you even possibly actually use those words but the truth of the matter is it is it was how I felt I was disconnected I had felt no connection um and I think from my case and you know, at the time, there was no social media, there was no none of this help that we now have, you know, just here at the access right in front of us, which is unbelievable, incredible support we all have now, should we wish to get to, to take that support. There was none of that. And um, because I was also living in a different country, so I didn't have the support of my family. Um, it was really, really tough. But I think the main problem with me was the whole time uh, when I was pregnant, I kept saying to myself, this is not going to change anything. It won't change anything. I'm going to carry on my life as it was before. I'm, you know, My husband and I have always worked together. So yeah, I'm going to go and work. 
with Frank, my husband, nothing is going to change. I'm going to be exactly the same. And I kept saying this. And it was a huge, huge mistake because everything, everything changes. Um, I don't think you can possibly explain it to somebody else, can you, before they've had children? Because they just would never, ever understand because it is so life changing in so many different ways that you you cannot describe the feeling, can you? You can't you can't until you go you go and do it yourself really and I actually you know what any advice or books or any kind of information that is given to you you read you can throw it all out the window once you have your child because it's a completely different story and everyone's different and you're going to react differently and your child is going to be different and everything is going to be different so yeah it's nice to read and know what to expect I didn't even do that you see um so so I had a I had a shock because things did change quite a lot and and I think if I had started to talk differently in here from the start and if I started to accept from the start, then it would, I think it probably would have been a different experience. Uh, but I was constantly fighting, battling against change, um, which makes it very, very difficult. But I also had a trauma. The, the feelings of guilt that you were having. Yes, 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 yes. It was, it, the, the it, shame it, in not wanting to, to speak to anybody about talk it. Talk about it's it. It's so yeah. hard to get those words out, isn't it? It really is. And, and um, I think, especially in my case, my husband was married previously he had children previously with another woman and you know in my eyes that went really well do you know what I mean and so I wasn't going to be the one saying put my hands up I really I'm not good at this I can't do this like you know (laughs) so that was the last thing I was going to say for sure (laughs) Um, (laughs) but um it, it it was a struggle and after finally speaking up um, and seeking help by first of all going to see a GP because that's the only thing you can do. I was living in the States at the time, I was living in in Florida. So I went to see a GP and explained a little bit of my feeling. I didn't have to say too much. And all all I had to say was two words, depressed, tired, not loving. And it was like, yep, you've got postnatal depression. I'm going to put you on um, antidepressants. And he actually asked me, which one would you like? We've got Prozac, Xanax. Do, do, do. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I had a choice. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like whatever, whatever, whatever is going to take this pain away, yeah. please. Mm-hmm. You know, and absolutely, I, I can't say that it didn't help. It did help. You know, it, it lifts away. I don't know. It feels like it lifts away a pressure. But what it does, it just, just completely kills any emotion. That's why you're lifted, because you're floating. Yeah. You're numb. So there's no more extreme love or extreme sadness or extreme anything or, you know, it's all like flat line. So yeah. It's flat line. So you're able to cope with your, your newborn, but you're a zombie. Let's face it, you are a zombie. So at that stage kind of talked with my husband about it and he's like well why don't you do something that you love you know you need a hobby you need to do something that you love he's like what is that and you know when you're in that depressed down there I'm like nothing nothing exactly (laughs) but then he's like what about you know you used to love dancing used to love I've always been active in in my in my younger uh, life you know as a teenager I used to do ballet I used to love sports that's cool I wasn't the one that didn't enjoy that I enjoyed all of those things he's like what about that what you know exactly that question he asked me what did you enjoy when you was younger and that's something that I actually stayed with me forever and that is actually why I ask my clients when they first sign up with me and I say what did you enjoy doing when you were a child what kind of sport what kind of activity what kind, what was your recreation and there was always something you know some some women just go I just love skipping I went right we're going to start with skipping right <laughs> now and and that's that's the truth and that when he asked me that I was like I love dancing you know I was ballet dancing for 15 years of my life I want I want I want yeah I love dancing all right cool okay so we need we need fitness looking at a dance class yeah I did that but then we wanted to do something together um because I thought 
it would help more if he was involved because I felt so alone looking at looking at the baby just me he went to work I wanted to do something with him um and so we hired a personal trainer uh and I swear to God, this is no lie, honestly. From the first week I saw this person and I was only doing the 30 minute session. He actually, my personal trainer in Miami, introduced me to the 30 minute sessions. Never before I've heard this. I always thought you had to go to the gym for hours upon hours upon hours. Every day. To have an effect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's like, no, 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 no. 30 minutes, you see how much you're going to work in 30 minutes and you'll 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 rip the benefit and you were so right it's just enough it's just enough for you to stay concentrated focused to give your all and then boom it's finished as well it's like bam 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 and 30 minutes who can't fit 30 minutes in their life okay yeah you have to go there you have to come back but that is nothing compared to your whole you know schedule that you have of this this that yeah I can spare 30 minutes here all of us can do that but yeah, if without you get lying. Up 30 minutes earlier in the morning, you, you, you can find somewhere, can't you, to slot it in? There's always a way. There's always a way. Um, but within a week, I felt so different already. Oh. I felt so different. It was like someone lifted this big dark cloud and gave back Cecilia Cecilia was back Cecilia was full of energy Cecilia was smiling she was laughing she wanted to go out and she could enjoy her son Cecilia could enjoy her son instead of seeing him as a problem instead of seeing him as such hard you know strenuous work that's how I saw looking after my child like it was hard well, it is hard work whether, <laughs> whether you're <laughs> depressed or not is hard work. <laughs> but you know you, you do it with love because you know he's your child and you're looking after him but for me it was like oh my god kill me now honestly kill me now in fact it, the, the I think the what finally uh, made my husband say you gotta go and see a doctor is me waking up one morning and say I can't do this anymore and he's like what do you mean what do you mean you can't do this unless I, I said Frank I can't do life anymore I'm done that I was there I was at that stage I was that deep I think sometimes I you have to get to that stage before you'll admit to yourself that actually I can't do this on my own I need someone totally. to step in now and someone to help me because I've reached my absolute limits I agree I agree and I hope if you know if we if any women out there listening to us um who have just who have just given birth please understand that you're not alone Absolutely. that it's not all rosy rosy eyes and beautiful and not stressful it is it's a big change in your life in every single way so you're allowed to feel the way you're feeling it doesn't make you a bad mother and please 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 reach out talk talk to your partner talk to your family talk to your friends and go and seek um you know professional help if you feel as low as what i kind of mentioned but 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 this is where we come to this is the reason yes, why be- yeah <laughs> the reason why i became a personal trainer so you know i believe in breakdowns always happen for a reason sometimes it's really hard to accept that as well but breakdowns always happen for a reason because they see they show you a path or they teach you a lesson and there's always a breakthrough at the end of it and that was my breakthrough you know pushing myself to to, um, make a change so that I didn't take the meds for life because that's what that's that was the path I was going towards you know I felt like a zombie great but I feel better so I'm going to keep taking them and I'm going to keep taking them and they're going to keep prescribing them to me there was no stop to it so it was a choice I had to make what else can I do to you know take away the meds and so after a week of you know training I think I did three sessions only that week um it was a complete change as I just said Cecilia was back Cecilia felt herself again there was not the dark Cecilia anymore um and and it just felt better week after week after week after week I just I just couldn't believe it. And I kept saying to my husband, I said, I don't understand. Why is anyone talking about this? This is yeah. like, this is just incredible, you know? Like, this is my happy pill. Like, 
that's it goodbye after a few weeks I I, I wean myself down on the meds and didn't, never needed them again and I felt so good and it wasn't about the transformation of my body it was just here it was all about here how more positive how much more energy like it's really weird how you say to someone and when you exercise you you feel tired you're physically tired but it gives you so much energy it's it's just a weird combination um and yeah we have moved back to the uk uh, a year later and um fabio was going to uh we did a little bit of traveling around and everything. But anyway, Fabio was five at the time when we moved back to the UK, my son Fabio. And he was going to go to, to school, start school, six. And um, it was like, okay, what am I going to do now? Like literally, you know how you're thinking, am I going to be a mum at home or I don't want to be a mum at home. I need to, you know, I need to work. I need to do something like that because I had stopped all that time to look after Fabio. Um, and it was a no-brainer. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a personal trainer because I want to make this feeling. I want everyone to feel this feeling. You know, I want to be able to give you what I've received. It's not something that should be kept secret. This should be yelled that spread about. It, it, it's so important, uh, you know, to all women of all ages. Um, and yeah, at the time, it helped me mentally incredibly. Uh, but then obviously, physically, my body started to change. And and then, you know, when I started training clients, I could see the positive side of exercise, which was always the big smile at the end of the session. Uh, and it was priceless. And it, it was, I was definitely doing what I needed to be doing. You know, that would it, that, it was place. my place yeah my place. <laughs> totally definitely it totally is my place I absolutely love with a passion um movement I think physical activity is a necessity uh we should prescribe it in front of any medicine um it changes so many different things and now I'm going towards menopause and I can't tell you how much more beneficial it is for me to be as active and as fit as I am today you know as a, a lady who's perimenopausal a, a, um, over 40s ladies fitness plan as well is that specifically because our bodies change so much um when we hit that kind of age that you tailor a package specifically for that age it is it is it is mainly I'll tell you, yes our body changes our metabolism changes our hormones drop but it doesn't mean that anything is not achievable because it is. It just means that you're going to have to be a little bit more disciplined and you're going to have to work a little bit harder. But also, you know, for ladies over 40s, in general, we, we're we done with the jump. I call it a jumpy jumpy. We're done with a jumpy jumpy. All the jumping and the high intensity, you know, burpees and jumping squats and jumping lunges and all of that. It's, it's frightening. It's actually, oh... It, is your personal going to are you going to do this are you my personal trainer does that mean you're going to do this to me I'm like no definitely not at that age we change the way we train and the most important thing is resistance training for us ladies at any age but even more important when we are above the 40s and reaching out to menopause because there's too many beautiful benefits with lifting weights that we need as a woman osteoporosis being one you know uh, frail what, bones um, what what would you say to to ladies like me for example because i i entered the menopause when i was 29 because i had a oh, wow. total i had a total hysterectomy just before my 30th birthday so i've got to be on hrt treatment for they've said like the next 20 years because of the risk of osteoporosis but i don't practice any fitness because i convince myself that i don't have the time just because I run my own business and obviously have a family, but I would be really interested in in learning from you the kind of exercise that you would prescribe for somebody like me in my situation, that even though my age is younger than menopausal, I am actually menopausal. Yeah. Um, first of all, you're well done for taking HRT. I am all for it. And as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to be on it. Um, 
it's incredible how it had a, such a bad reputation for a very long time and uh, how now the research is coming back at everything that was said is just not right um, and how beneficial it is to us women. So first of all, you're going to stay young, looking young and actually um, really good for fitness because you've got all the hormones that you need. Um, my best advice is to start lifting weight. Uh, so 100% and you should come and follow one of our plans on RWL. I think I need to because I, I have put on quite a few pounds over lockdown. I'd say I'd probably gained about a stone and a half just in the last 12 months. And that's like, that's huge for me. That's huge for you, but it's something that's happened to a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Um, we had a flip and, and I thought the majority of people finally looked after their health and fitness in lockdown, but we were, that was a minority, minority of people. Uh, uh, most people just went sedentary and just ate their emotions and drank their emotions too. So yeah, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people that have a stone lockdown uh, weight to lose. That's like the average, uh, the average amount as well. It's a stone, a stone and a half. Um, first of all, when we're talking about gaining weight, you have to understand that will only come from diet. So if you want to lose weight, you can lose weight without exercise, would you believe? Uh, by tweaking your diet. Okay, that's the most important thing. I always, always tell everyone, you know, oh, Celia, look at you, you got a six pack. Yeah. I have a six pack because I'm very disciplined about my diet, not because I do thousands and one crunches a day. No, it's, you know, our body is covered with body fat. Beneath that, there's muscles. If you, lower <laughs> your, if you lower your body fat, then you can see your muscles, as simple as that. Um, so along with exercise, exercise obviously helps burning calories and building lean muscle. Now, the more muscle you have, the more of a machine you become at, you know, efficient machine at, first of all, burning calories. Um, and second of all, you know, strength, endurance, flexibility, mobility, all of those things that you need. So lifting weight has been proven to help prevent osteoporosis. And osteoporosis, if, if you don't know what it's about, is basically your bone frails. The frail, the frail, the frail as you get older because we're losing some of our hormones. Um, and then unfortunately, what happens as an older age, and no one thinks about it when they're in their 20s. I mean, I didn't think about it in my 20s. They're like, no, I'm exercising to not have a nice ass. Thank you very much. I'm not exercising. I'm not exercising because my bones are frail. <laughs> um, but now that I'm 50 and a bit um yeah oh no gosh you know I don't I want to be independent for as long as I can and I don't want to be walking down the road and missing a step falling and breaking my wrists or my arm or no, my hips or, or, yeah and these things will happen if you know you have severe osteoporosis because a little fall will be enough to fracture a bone um, so you don't think about these things when you're younger, but actually now is very, very important. And loads of different things, heart health, uh, name it, uh, diabetes, um, head, dementia, um, Alzheimer, all of them. There's so many benefits to exercise and, and, and HRT. So I'm really pleased you are on it. Um, yes, start lifting weight. It's so simple. Right, literally, if you think about the most simple exercise, pulling, pushing, twisting, holding. Those are the movements we need in life, everyday life, every day. Lift a chair, put a thing up in the cupboard. You know, think about it. Those are the movements that you need to be masters of, master of. And your body weight is usually more than enough. You can do all of these exercises with only your body weight. Um, and a pair of dumbbells, if you have one, or resistance band, that is all that you need. Um, but yeah, tons and tons I, of exercises. I, I, would have I, never, I can show you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would have never have thought that that would be the first thing to, to do. I would have thought, oh, it has to be right, get in gym gear, do a million star jumps, run on the spot for an hour. 
I, I never would have thought of lifting weights would be the first thing. Because I, I, would, I always correlate lifting weights. Well, I don't really want really muscly arms. I just want to feel like better and healthier. You will. This is the thing. This is the thing that lifting weight is just a different discipline. And by the way, I'm only talking about resistance training because I know how beneficial it is for a woman um, and especially a woman of a certain age. Uh, but when I speak to anyone who would like to uh, be healthy, uh, fit, who would like to be fit, I always say that the best thing, uh, and see changes, seeing results. All you gotta do is stay consistent to see results. That's all it is. You can't just do one week and then stop for three and then oh, I'll come back to that. It has to be consistent. So to be consistent, you gotta do something you enjoy. It's simple as that. So what do you enjoy? If dancing is what you enjoy then stick to dancing any form of fitness for me is beneficial okay so if, if you love cycling go cycle swimming go swimming you know do what you enjoy because if you enjoy it you're going to stay consistent and if you stay consistent you're going to reap the benefits so much it has to be consistency this is why we call our website results wellness lifestyle because we are about we want you to change your lifestyle. This is not just, I'm going to get fit for Christmas. I'm going to get fit for it. Um, you know, a um, birthday party, a wedding or whatever, an event. Not quick it's fix, not. is it? No, it's because if the quick fixes only do that. They just quick and then they finish. You go back to normal afterwards. You know, it's, it's, you know, don't use it, you lose it. That expression is so cliche, but it's absolutely true in the fitness world. Literally, if you stop three weeks, you're going to go back three weeks in your fitness level. Um, but forget about the physical side of it, the mental side of it. If you have that kind of discipline in your life, it gives you so much more opportunity. Don't ask me why, but it does. It's because you as a person become more positive, become more optimistic you start seeing more opportunities around you you have less fear you're more proud of yourself so you're stronger you have more confidence it's it's immense what it does so cool, isn't it yeah it really is you know we 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 constantly put ourselves down. We constantly took ourselves badly. Yeah. We constantly put ourselves at the uh, bottom of the list. You know, if you look at someone's list, it will be work, family, chores. Then maybe at the bottom <laughs> is self care. Self care, and usually self care. If I've got time, get, <laughs> get it, getting your nails done or a little pampering weekend in the spa that's not self-care the self-care that that's that's trying to trying to make you feel better with something that you have to buy do you know what i'm saying like it's it's, it's, it, it's not some it's not self-care self-care would be putting the phone away reading a book meditation being alone with your own thoughts or yes, experimenting a class, a workout class, uh, meeting friends, all of that, that's self-care. We always associate self-care with going to buy something materialistic, mm -hmm. uh, which again, that's a quick fix to make us feel better. Just the same as the if quick fix. If you've not fix. worked on your mind and on your positive mindset, then it's not a quick fix because after after the nails have come off or after your hair is darkened or lightened or whatever, then you're still left with the same thoughts and feelings about yourself that you had before you had those things done. Like you said, exactly. your your company is about is about changing your mindset and building your lifestyle around wanting to feel good, whether that's feeling good in your mind and your body at the same time. It, it has to go hand in hand. Yeah. Uh, because if you don't change the inside, the outside does not change. Yeah. Or it will constantly go into that yo-yo kind of um, 
lifestyle you know one minute i'm happy one minute i'm down one minute i'm doing fitness i'm on a diet and then i'm back binging not doing anything this this is this is tiresome really tiresome we need to find the right balance for each of us you know with with everything with the diet with the the, the self-care with the work with the family um and that's the key to success i I strongly believe that's the key to success is not how much money you have in the bank is actually trying to find the right balance for yourself to have a good quality of life and good quality of life can only happen if you're healthy because at the end of the day the only thing that's important is your health health is wealth they say don't they your health is your wealth so it's it's so true it really is I mean if we haven't learned anything from this pandemic it would be this you know being healthy was very important very important uh, it kind of saved our lives yeah, yeah you're so right absolutely so I, I, I found your account um because i had watched a live with um frankie bridge on instagram and and oh, you were doing a live with you. her my god i love her um but do I. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you I literally joined the live like at the height of lockdown sat in my pajamas on the settee like I, I had no no desire at all to like put something comfortable on like join in because that's I didn't have the motivation to do that at the time but what I found amazing about you Cecilia is your positivity and your energy and your motivation is what I found incredible because that's what I joined for. That's what I started following you for because not only do you offer, obviously, the, the physical side of things, you're a big advocate for, like we've been talking about, the, the positive mental effects that the exercise and overhaul in your lifestyle can, can bring to people. A hundred percent. Yeah, it's uh, you can see it at every video that I do. I mean, anyone would, if you want to <laughs> um, go and have a look at my Instagram account, it's really weird. It's like someone put a switch on me and I am hit by endorphins and I am, woohoo, I'm up there. Sometimes my team has to calm me down most of the time and give me a coffee when I say I'm flying. Um, but yeah, I, I just love the feeling. I can't explain it better than that. It's just an amazing feeling. You know, first of all, because you're exhausted, but you're exhausted physically. It's not a mental exhaustion. It's a really nice feeling. Like when you're finished and you're like, wow. Oh, and, you know, you kind of feel so calm. You, 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 you you feel like you can see clearly you, you feel like you can front anything you know bring it on send me all the trouble of life I can take it you know yeah. it's it, it's it's just yeah it, it, you can't explain it better than that but you know some people might look at me right now or think what the hell is she talking about she's crazy um <laughs> And I, and I get it. I totally get it. And it, it, if it wasn't for me changing my mindset, I'd probably be still there with those people saying, oh, look at her, what's the matter with her? Tell her to shut up. You know, <laughs> you have to have Experience that it, mindset. You, know. you have to feel it. Like you have to enjoy what you're doing. Why are you doing it? This is the reason I, 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 I ask this, first of all, to all my clients when they first start with me, why do you want this? why this why has to be huge it has to be huge for me my why is saved my life if i can't say better than that it's saved my life so i'm gonna keep doing it because i want to stay <laughs> yeah. there you know i don't ever want to go back to that place where i was ever uh, and so what is your big why not because oh do you know what i want to lose a stone don't get me wrong that's a great start but there's got to be a bigger picture a bit more to it. it yeah because then you're going to stick to it you know because every day when you're like oh god here we go i need to do this no i know why i'm doing this absolutely and it's important to me yeah. and i'm gonna do it you know and then and discipline kicks in 
you know, motivation, you all know my followers and even my team know that I hate this word because it's fleeting. See, motivation is here five minutes and then it's gone. Motivation is I'm listening to, you know, you're listening to me and I'm motivating you right now, but tomorrow you would have forgotten about it. <laughs> motivation is fleeting, it's fake. It's like buying the Gucci bag to make you feel better. It's not that. Discipline is where it's at. And the reason you stay disciplined is because your why is so important to you. That's what you got to figure out. Every single one of us, we got to figure out. You need purpose in life. You need values. Otherwise, what is it all about? What is it all about? What's it yeah. for? Anyway, if, if, if there's no if there's nothing behind it, then what are you doing it for? You need to, if you don't know what your yeah. why is, then you need to find it because it is there yeah. because everybody's here for a reason and everybody's got a place and everyone can bring amazing things to people. A hundred percent. I so agree with that, but we get lost, don't we? We get lost yeah. in, in the rat race really and trying to compete with the Joneses and having the best, car and the best house and the best everything what does it matter if you don't have your health you're not taking any of those things with you if you if your mind's not healthy as well it, it doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank it makes absolutely no difference does it I, I, yeah i put everything under the health bubble but it is all about the mind it's all yeah. about the mind that's where it without starts. the mind you you can't do anything neither no no 100 percent start there did you find that um your your following as a result of lockdown did that have a massive surge yes yes my goodness we um announced literally as the pm said we're going on lockdown and i believe he said that on the 13th of march yeah. a year well it'll be two years ago in in now coming march won't it um we decided there and then as a company to give free live workouts daily so seven days a week we went live on our instagram account on rwl instagram account and we gave a free workout every single day uh, we, we have loads of different trainers in our team so each of us have a different expertise a uh, niche uh, which is another thing that i uh, wanted for our platform is that it's not just one workout is multiple disciplines so you could be doing pilates you could be doing yoga you could be doing zumba class you could be doing some um, uh, what's it called box exercise obviously your resistance name it we have it all and we have now a huge section because that's another thing that happened in lockdown lots of babies we have a huge section in the anti and postnatal uh, department so yeah we gave, we gave free workouts every single day. And that is how uh, we grew uh, immensely uh, through lockdown because it helped. It helped yeah. so many women. It helped with not just women. In fact, we had, you know, women doing them with their partners, with their kids, with their friends, with their, not friends, on Zoom. This yeah, is what I'm talking mean. about. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was incredible how the Zoom world you know, appeared and, oh, and actually so beneficial. You know, I could see I could see lots of, of our members meeting each other on Instagram, never met before, don't even know each other, don't even never met before, but yet through our platform, um, became friends and now do our workouts together and Zoom all together. It's brilliant. I absolutely I, I, I thought it was fantastic. And yes, 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 the following had grown a lot. It, it helped a lot. Um, just because we were doing these live, these free events. So, you know, the word, the word went out. Um, and then the rest of the world started doing live workouts too. <laughs> How rude. So there was so much. There was, yeah. No, no, you could see. I actually enjoyed it. I'm going to tell you the truth because then I could see what everyone else was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let me, let me go and have a look at what 
fairies boot camp doing oh all right and then this and then that do you know what I mean and like that went around the inspirational world. ideas inspirational <laughs> what is everyone doing okay let's avoid doing that because everyone else is doing it yeah. no I'm joking but no it was um yeah it was really it was really good it's really good in the fact that we were able to help so many people that's that's the main part of it obviously uh, amazing for the business too but it the most important thing is that you know daily receiving messages constantly every single day saying Celia you don't have you don't know how much you've helped me you know I can't thank you enough for doing this for us and these messages was priceless you know you were like that's your why that's, honest, that's yes. the heart of your why isn't it oh a hundred percent sometimes absolutely sometimes you wake up yourself and you're like oh my god is anyone listening to me I'm always talking to myself on camera it's really <laughs> weird the social media stories it? it's like you're constantly talking about to yourself la 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 putting these things putting these words putting these tips and you're like is it helping anyone please tell me and then you receive the messages and you're like yeah that's what I'm doing it for I'm here for you no problem yeah I like it I love it in fact <laughs> So obviously I know that you absolutely really enjoy fitness and working out and stuff. Do you still, even though your passion lies there, do you still have to be really strict with yourself or not so much because it's not a chore for you because you actually really enjoy it? Um, it, I have created a habit. So for me, it's like brushing my teeth and that's what I'm, I try to do with every single members and every single client that, are coming into my life I want them to create that habit and the only way you do it is by doing something consistently that's the um, discipline so, isn't it it's the discipline and um of coming out of lockdown and obviously moving country life everything was a big shock to me another big shock happened to me actually not long ago because I was so disciplined I was so regimental in everything I was doing you know and then it was all taken away from me. And I, I, I got a little bit lost, I have to say. Uh, it was loss of identity, you know, a little bit because this is who I am. This is what I do. At this time, that's what I do. <laughs> Very boring. And this time, that's what I do. <laughs> this was time with it. And then it was all taken away from me. So I had a little bit of readjustment to it, but it was a good thing again. I went through this for a reason because I then understood how other people feel. In the fact that you know you you don't have that routine, you don't have that habit, that healthy habit. Um, how do you create it? How do you how do you do it? So I had six weeks off completely of no no fitness whatsoever, um, and then I started again. And I, all I did was ten minutes workout. That's it. Every single day though, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes. Um, and because it was 10 minutes, it was never in my head, oh, God, I have to get up to do a workout, never. It's only 10 minutes. I can do 10 minutes. And I actually did it all free and live on, on, on Instagram as well because I wanted to show how I was going to create a habit again for me. Um, and, yeah, it helped tremendously. And now I'm back into my routine. Do I have days when I'm like, oh, can't be bothered? Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. Um, and sometimes I give myself like nah fine don't worry no no workout today yeah do it another day that's fine um but when you know if I find myself going into that mode a little bit longer than I should then discipline comes in and is like -uh. no, no 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 you're 50 years old now Cecilia this is part of your life otherwise you're going to be an old frail lady so is that what you want no I don't no I don't I'm going to get up and I'm going to do what's good for me because at the end of the, the, at the end of it, I know I'm going to feel like a superwoman anyway. So. Exactly. <laughs> the endorphins. I want, that. <laughs> I want that power, please. Give it to me. So, yeah, it is discipline. It's always discipline. It's, it, it, you know, your, your brain is going to say, oh, why are you doing this? It's going to hurt. Oh, you're going to feel horrendous. You're going to sweat. Oh, you need to wash your hair afterwards. Oh, it's the, millions and millions of one reason why you're not going to be doing it, right? We, we create that so easily like this but you also have to create that boom no I'm doing it Ooh, I've just killed a mosquito at the same time <laughs> that was skill 
um, <laughs> so yeah, d- discipline is huge. Discipline is is not easy. Yeah, it really isn't. But if when you look at athletes, that's all they have. Yeah. They that, that that's what drives life, them, really. isn't it? It's discipline. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's boring. I think it's it's really good, healthy habit to have. Yeah. yeah. You're such an inspiration honestly the way that you <laughs> talk about it, it makes me want to start doing it but like you said <laughs> my brain will be like tomorrow well, you'll well, forget it have a chocolate bar first <laughs> <laughs> so, I like mo- it, yeah moving forward what are your um goals and aspirations for not only for you personally but for the future of rwl future of rwl look we've just got um kind of approved by the associations that um it, what is uh, orca sorry i'm going to explain what orca is so orca is an um, a company that filters other companies to be approved by the nhs okay. so we were approved by orca so which means that we are on the list of preferred wellness platform by the nhs so that was a huge step. It took, took us two years to get there. Um, so for me, the next stage is to actually, whenever you are at, at your GP and you're saying you're suffering from anxiety, you're suffering from stress, you're suffering from weight gain, you're suffering for all of the reasons we can help at RWL. I'm hoping the GP will be going, there you go, my love. RWL being pres- prescribed. That is the dream it's going to take a while but we'll get there (laughs) how incredible that is full circle because you went to your gp and imagine if you were handed that app like your wow that would have been it's exactly the reason why it's exactly the reason why um i don't want gp i mean don't get me wrong there's 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 place for meds i'm not against meds Uh, i think you know they can help tremendously especially if you are clinically depressed and you know there's there is sickness um that need medication but why not try first this before going to you know something you're gonna have to take for the rest of your life i don't know um but that's that's what i'm hoping so that that is the massive inspiration for us a massive drive for us as a company and for me personally if i achieve this that's it. I don't need to achieve anything else. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's so and then, yeah, personally, it's just I just would like to enjoy this new chapter of my life as much as I can with a very good outdoor quality life. Absolutely. I wish you all the best in your next exciting so chapter. Um, just lastly, before we go, where can people find you? So multiple places, as you do nowadays. Um, Instagram account is Results with Cecilia. Um, the platform is RWL, so at RWL. And if you wanted to find us on the website is um, resultswellnesslifestyle.com. Well, thank you, Cecilia. It has been absolutely wonderful to talk to you. Um, and I've Lovely. enjoyed every second me too thank you so much for having me thank you for coming on and i shall speak to you soon bye thank you